The World Bank and the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security through the Livestock Productivity and Resilience Support Project has commended the Oyo State Government for its effort and commitment towards enhancing livestock production in the state. The commendation was made during a tour and assessment of Fashola farms in Oyo Town. A correspondent, Shegun Falomo, sent in this report. This gathering has all stakeholders in the livestock farming production gathered to deliberate on how to move the sector forward. The two-day livestock production stakeholders engagement by the World Bank tax team at the National Coordinating Office on the LPRES support mission to Oyo State held at the International Conference Center, University of Ibadan. The event is targeted at the implementation of a $500 million World Bank project by the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security to improve productivity, commercialization, and resilience of livestock value chain. The National Project Coordinator, Livestock Productivity and Resilience Support Project, Alpress, Sanusi Abu Bakawa, speaking with journalists shortly after a field trip to Fashola Farm Settlement in Oyo Town, said the project is a continuation of the implementation support mission, having been to other states such as Bauchi, Gombe, and Enugu State. Or the Federal Minister, Minister of Agriculture and Food Security, Senator Walker Kari, to hasten up implementation of this livestock uh, uh, program in Nigeria. That's why we are going around for the implementation support mission. And we are here uh, to uh, in Fashola, because you know Fashola is a renowned place for livestock breeding and commercialization of livestock value chains. Generally, it has been here since years, 1968. And we are impressed of, uh, with what is happening here. The special advisor to Oyo State Governor on Agribusiness, International Cooperation and Development, Dr. Debo Akonde, in his remarks said the state has enormous potential in livestock production, saying that LPRES is prepared to support the effort of the state government to bring foremost acknowledgement of the livestock rearing value chain, not just for cattle but also for poultry, piggery and other livestock sectors and other livestock sectors in the state. Akonde said they are bringing back the glory of livestock production in Oyo State. The project will be in the mid, short and long term, have a major impact on the agricultural value chain, especially in the livestock industry. S states will be addressed by the state government through the support of the Elpers and the World Bank. Meanwhile, the state project coordinator of Elpers, Mr. Kola Kazim, said the mission of the project's implementation team is to lend support to Oyo State in livestock production and development. And that is what we are, uh, we are looking forward to do. The project Elpress will support all that His Excellency has been doing and will bring to the foremost uh, uh, acknowledgement uh, livestock rearing, livestock value chain, you know, in Oyo State. Not just for cattle, for goatry, for pigry, for poultry industry, you know, and for anything that has to do with livestock in this, in this state. We'll bring back the glory of livestock back in Oyo State. Um, it took a lot for us to, to be where we are now. But it takes a man of leadership uh, with vision, you know, to bring us to the point where we start having uh, projects here and there from development organizations that suits the strategy and the policy and the program of the state. And this, we believe, in short term, mid term and long term, is going to create a major impact on our cultural uh, value chain in the state. That we are here uh, today is a signature project for your state and for other states in Nigeria to emulate because when we talk of livestock center you cannot find this kind of facilities and arrangement that we have in Fasola Agri Industrial Business Hub in any other place.